Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram. And welcome to FlossTube 48. Sure. <laughs> if you are new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is my little corner of YouTube where I talk about all my things that I stitch. That made no sense. This is the corner where Ross pops up to say hello to everybody and makes snarky comments. <laughs> Anyway, you all love him. You know, it is what it is. That's his little corner. He's still unpaid. That's the space he gets. Um, what have I been up to? Not much. It has been. These past couple of weeks have been the longest year <laughs> ever. Just these two weeks. Um, I've been trying to catch up at work from being on leave, at a funeral. My mum had surgery. Um, what else has been happening? I got the results from my scans. Everything is okay. Um, just confirmation of my endo. So, yay. Um, yeah, that's that's been about it. It's been so busy at work that I'm just like perpetually exhausted. And I cannot wait until next weekend that I can switch off for the Easter long weekend and spend time with my friends in Stars Hollow because Wish is next weekend. So, so excited. I do have the unboxing in this episode. Um, I have a new start. I have uh, a fair chunk of whips, a lot more than I thought I worked on because I didn't think I worked on this much. And I have a ton of haul because you know when you order things and then number one, you forget that you order them. Number two, you order them that long ago that you don't remember them and then they come in and it's like, surprise. <laughs> anyway, I've got a bit of that. Um, I'm just going to jump in because there is a lot. I literally just got home from work and I want to eat dinner because I'm starving. <laughs> it's going to be one of those videos today. Hopefully my stomach does not make noise um, because, you know, sometimes it does. Hey ho, let's go. <laughs> Anyway, um, my new start, um, I'm, I, I don't know. I just had this really weird feeling that I just wanted to start like three projects. Anyway, I started one and I did so because it is the winter in stars hollow, um, chart. I don't have a photo right now. Um, if I take one, I'll get Ross to insert it, but you will see it in the unboxing. So, um, it is... <laughs> It is full coverage. It is winter. I have not finished summer. I finished autumn and spring. But this is my new start. So, the snow woman is mostly complete. She just needs her scarf. The pop tart just needs some sprinkles. And then this is the beginning of Lane's pom poms, the popcorn cart, I'm pretty sure, and then Polenka. Um, and then I've picked my needle minders specifically for this. So, this is the needle minder I got in the uh, needle minder exchange last year. This is from my LNS and this is from Silks for You. So Snowflake, Luke's and the Dragonfly for Winter in Stars Hollow. Um, this is stitched on an 18 count white, two over one full cross. Um, and I, I did start it without gritting and then I gritted it because I'm like, huh, my brain does not want to count. So I gritted it. It's going to be helpful for my brain, especially when you challenge stitching at 3 a.m. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, that is my new start. My whips are a lot. I apparently have worked on a lot. Um, so this you would have seen as a new start in my last video. I am like 90% sure. Um, but it is the February pie month from the Black Needle Society for the Celebrate Year Round Stitch Along. I've been calling it a year of celebration. I don't know why, but it's celebrate year round. I'm like 99% sure it's celebrate year round. Hopefully that's right. Anyway, I did work on February and this is where I'm up to. Um, so this is, this was in a bracket for March Madness. I have completely fallen off the bandwagon that is March Madness. I just, I couldn't do it. It was just... It wasn't enjoyable, so I called it quits and I'm just working on whatever I want. So this is 
um, what I have so far for February. This is a 32 count, count blue gray linen by Witchell. Uh, needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. So outlines of pies so far. And this is like, this, this, this block is like chunky. It's fairly full coverage. So um, there's a lot more that needs to go in on that. Hopefully, hopefully I can get that finished because like March is already out and I haven't even started March. And I don't even have fabric for the rest of the year. So <laughs> need to get on that at some point. Um, next up is the Wonders of the James Webb Telescope by Climbing Goat Designs. Um, I didn't really do much. Again, this was a March Madness piece, but again, this didn't get much, um, much work on it. I put in a couple of hexes. I'm pretty sure I put in like one and a half hexes. Um, this is an 18 count mystery by Volcano Stitching. I absolutely am obsessed, obsessed with this fabric. I wish, I wish I had two pieces of this so I could do... Hubble on this because I hate my fabric for Hubble um, but I'm so close to finishing that one that I don't want to restart so this is James Webb I'm going to bring it in closer so you can see the first block which are the pillars of the universe I'm pretty sure don't want me to do that <laughs> uh, needle minder I don't know if that's from ginger stitch or itchy stitchy it's from one of them so yeah James Webb all right, uh, the next thing I worked on is attached to my other project because why wouldn't it be? And my needle is coming off. Um, it was my new year, new start, which I did start in January and just did not work on. Um, and that is Mario Through the Ages. Um, this is from the Sprite Stitch Forum. It is free. Um, Athena over at Stitching Goddess Designs is stitching this and I'm pretty sure Kevin from Accio Whip is going to be starting it based on their last floss tube. Um, but this is where I'm up to. So this has got a little bit of work done, not much. Um, but I finished all the black in Mario. Um, I put in the A, started the R and then I did a tiny bit of like half stitches in this. I'm pretty sure this is 919. Um... And then I was going to continue with the black, but you need to put the white to then do the black shadow because it's just, it, it's too much. And I'd need to like figure out how to anchor certain bits and I could not be bothered. So I'm just going to finish this block and then move across. Um, maybe move down. Maybe I'll just go page by page of what's in. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet, but this is where I'm up to. This needle minder is from Rebel, Rebel Stitcher. It was in a Black Needle Society box. And this one here is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um... Fabric, I hand dyed myself. It is bluer than it is appearing, but I love it. It's in the Q-snap because it's literally the fabric is so unmanageable. I don't want to take it out. <laughs> um, so that is Mario through the ages. Um, okay, next up, I worked on uh, Gryffindor Common Room by Green Terrace. This is not available to purchase anymore. I am actually no, it is. It's on their website. Uh, I keep getting this mixed up with the Gryffindor, the Hogwarts Crest, but this is still available. It's on their website. Um, all my projects I'll have linked down below. Um, I've been doing that recently, and I found that it's really helpful. Um, but this is where I'm up to. So I work on this on the seventh, seventh in the US, eighth for me. Um, during Athena's stitchy chats and I was like I got so much done during this chat I'm just gonna like zoom in so essentially everything underneath my honeydukes needle minder got put in so the flames got put in I finished the back of the fireplace and then I started putting in this chair and then just because I wanted to see what it looks like I started doing some of the back stitch at the bottom which it's gonna be look it's gonna be so good um putting in the back stitch on this because it's like <laughs> without back stitch is me like my sight my vision without my glasses and then back stitch is like putting my glasses on <laughs> ah, hilarious um needle minders this one is from ginger stitch this is from itchy stitchy it's no longer available but i finished oh, i also finished the frame like putting in all the colors for like this 
part of the frame. This this got a lot of work. <laughs> um, I'm low key obsessed with this chart, and I just want to like keep working on it until it's finished. But I don't want to burn out. So solid progress. Um, okay, the next whip is also a stitch along. <laughs> I am behind because why wouldn't I be? Um, and that is Dragons, a field guide by Climbing Goat Designs. Um, there are three dragons out. I have not finished one. <laughs> this is where I'm up to. Um, so this is the first dragon. It's a, a wyvern. A wyvern? A wyvern? Wyvern? However the hell we want to pronounce it. Um, I really don't have much. Just his legs and his tail and a wing. I mean, there's half a dragon left, but I finished his head, finished his wing, finished part of his body, put in within, and then put in the flame. And I was going to recolor him to make him the color of Abraxas, but I did not. Um, because that was going to be too much work and my brain could not. So, within. This is what I'm up to. I've done dragons. I've done like the corner bit. Um, I have not done the rest of the border because it's a stitch along. We call them start alongs for a reason. Um, okay. The last whip. Can't believe I'm like 11 minutes in and I'm done with my whips because the whole part is just going to be huge. Um, my last whip I have been obsessed with for the past like five days. I don't want to put it down. I just want to keep stitching on it and I'm likely going to keep stitching on it through the weekend because I'm obsessed with it at the moment. And I don't know why I just am. And that is Frederick the Literate by Dimensions. Um, the artwork is by Charles Wysocki. Wysocki? Anyway, my I'm stitching this for my best friend's mum. She does know about it. I just found out like the other day. Um, and then my best friend sent me a link um, to... Uh, to the artist or an artist page um, and Frederick is um, modeled after one of their favorite cats which is so exciting um, that was some really cool tidbit of information to um, to learn but this has had a chunk of progress like a chunk so this is where I'm up to I have essentially put in all of this and I've brought this whole border all the way to the end uh, and, and you know, with dimensions kits, there's like this much border left on the other side. So it's going to be a bit tight, um, but I am obsessed with it at the moment. So I've, I've literally just taken one side of the Q-snap off so you can see it, but this is essentially what I've worked on. This owl was like without the eyes and without part of it, this like little chest bit was horrifying. I did put a story up on, um, on Instagram about it, but it was terrifying. So I'm so glad that that's done. Um, this does say sardine and then I'm working on this book at the moment. Um, this naughty mind is from ginger stitch AU. This is from inchworm designs. The needle minder on my dragons is also from Ginger Stitch AU. And I love it because I bought myself a matching one. I bought myself one after I bought one and gifted it to Lynn. And then I wanted one for me. <laughs> so they are my whips. I'm going to jump into haul because, you know, this is going to be ginormous. Ginormous. Okay. First thing I'm going to show you is I went to Spotlight for a particular reason. And I cannot for the life of me remember why I went don't know I was there there was a VIP sale no I do remember this light this light is new <laughs> this is why I went to spotlight so this is a, my, my new stitchy light there will be a couch going in there this weekend um, this is my new stitchy light um, I went to spotlight specifically for this and this was here in my last floss tube and I just didn't say anything about it I went for this light because it was $20 $20, $40, maybe 40 down from like a hundred and something. I went straight into my spotlight to get that on my lunch break when I was working from home that day. And I'm like need because that was massive discount. It is so cool. It's got a remote control. It's got so many settings. Anywho, I went to spotlight to get that while I was also there. They were having a VIP sale on um, cross stitch kits and I don't know why, but I am legitimately, 
I saw this come up as an ad on Facebook and I saw it and I'm like, that is beautiful. I don't need it. Dimensions kits and me. I'm not sure how I feel about them. However, I kept seeing this ad, kept seeing this ad. And when I went and picked this up, they had this in stock for cheap. I don't know why. I am obsessed with it. It is beautiful. The fabric in here is a 14 count ivory, but I may change it to, um, to a 16 count, but I'm, I don't know. It's weird. I'm liking the 14 count in the black at the moment. I'm not sure how, how I feel about ivory. Mm, I might do it on an even weave maybe, but I'm obsessed with this. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the flowers. I, I don't know. I am, I'm obsessed with it. I love the colors. It's just beautiful. So I got myself that. I forgot to show that in my last video. Um, then I have, <laughs> okay. My seasonal silks came in the first seasonal silk pack for the year and holy cannoli, they are amazing. So this is the spring pack. Um, first of all, we got a bonus skein of, uh, oh, spring 24 bonus skein. So this is not a particular color. Is a lot brighter than is showing up. There you go. There's a really pretty yellow. That's one. And then we got uh, spring 24. This is number six. Just such a, such a pretty pink. And then we got number five, which is this glorious orange. I'm not really an orange person, but mm, real pretty. And then spring number four is this it's showing up more teal, but it's more green. Like it's like a proper emerald. Do I have a white? Anyway, it's a proper emerald. It's, it's stunning. It's beautiful. Um, then there is spring number three, which is this beautiful blue. This is giving me like DMZ 995996 vibes. And then there is number two, which is the variegated. This is really not doing it justice. Variegated of all of the colors in, it's my light. Um, in like the variegated of all of the colors that came in it. And then like, I love this, this is beautiful. <laughs> but I saw this one and I'm like, this is, this is incredible. It's, Honestly, absolutely, absolutely stunning. Like it's just mm, so, so beautiful. So they are the seasonal silks that I got. I'm pretty sure I showed you my silk of the month last time. Yeah, cause I've put that away. So I would have shown that last time. Um, okay, they are my silks. Next up, I got an order from Janet, which is our local online stitchy store here in Australia. She is the best. We get a little needle miner with our order. So I'm just going to put that on my tin. I am stitching frog warts individually on an 18 count Ada in the fancy floss with my own like uh, sparkly conversion, whatever. My brain got FOMO and I want to stitch them all together. <laughs> So I got fabric and DMC for it and I'm going to start frog warts in one banner as well with the DMC because I wasn't getting fancy floss for that. So fabric and floss acquired from Janet. Um, I did put in an order with Daisy chain stitchery. So this is Teresa um, because I needed fancy floss for. <sighs> oh my gosh. Um, winter in styles hollow Janet didn't have all of the colors but Teresa did so I put an order with Teresa because a few weeks ago maybe a month ago I caved and bought a scary sampler by heartstring samplers so I also bought the fancy floss for that but I just want to I haven't opened the parcel yet because it literally came today but like look at how stunning this is wrapped up it's just absolutely gorgeous and we get like a little oh that's It's a needle threader with a little daisy. That's so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> so 
so cool. So it's wrapped up in really pretty daisy paper. I'm just gonna slide it out the side if I can. Because I honestly don't, don't remember what I ordered if it was just floss. Yeah, it was just floss. That is incredibly pretty. Um, so yeah, fancy floss for the scary sampler and for wish. So there's some weeks, there's some gas and color and cotton. Oh, classic color work, sorry. Fancy floss, yay! <laughs> okay. Um, so I Collie got gifted some thread drops from Hero and Stitch, and I had not heard of them before, which is a bit ridiculous given they are actually in my state in Victoria. Sorry, I'm just popping this open. And Chloe got gifted these thread bobbins. So I ordered myself some in the green, in the emerald. So you can slide like the DMC, like this part of the DMC onto it and like wind it onto bobbins. So I'm gonna use these when my bobbins start running out. However, because I kit everything up on floss drops, I wanted to give the flop floss drops that they have a try because they send you, they're just behind my camera. They send you like samples of their different bobbins. So this is like a thread drop bobbin and then there's like an egg thread drop. Crazy, amazing. So, um, oh look, they've sent me a couple more. <laughs> I'll open these and show you. Um, so it does come in a box with your name on it which I love. So this is from Hero and Stitch. Um, so this does come with two rings as well, which will be really handy for my drops. It comes with a lovely little note that says, thank you so much for your amazing order. We love return customers. We hope you love these products as much as your previous order. Please accept this gift of some hinge rings to show our appreciation, which I love. Um, there's a sticker, head up, heart open. And then they give you like, a couple of examples of other ones. So this is another one of the thread drop bobbins. And then this is like their mini drops. So I love them. I ordered the egg style drops. Again, in the emerald, in the green grass. Because like I'm in my green era at the moment. So I cannot wait to kit up my frog warts and like whatever else I want to with those. Super, super exciting. And then... I did an order with Volcano Stitching like ages ago during one of their Friday nights. And I don't know why, but it took forever, forever and a day to arrive. Um, and they only just arrived like two days ago. So I opened them up and oh my gosh, these are like so much better than I thought. So I got three 32 count even weaves and I got an 18 count. And this 18 count <laughs> is not doing it justice, but it is. It is stunning. It's like yellow and pink and blue and purple. Like every part of this is completely different and I'm legitimately obsessed with it. It's just absolutely stunning. So that's the 18 count that I got. I got this 32 count even weave in this bluey pinky purple model, but it's not like overly modeled. Um, it's fairly neutral blue, which I love because I had an, I have an idea for this one. So yeah, like not overly, not overly modeled. It's really subtle. Um, I don't know how my eyeballs are going to go with one this dark, but I saw this and I'm like, hummingbird pixie from Bella Filipina. <laughs> um, might actually be better suited to a mermaid, but we shall see. Um, it's more, I don't know. It's more blue than is appearing from what I can see. It's showing up very like gray than blue. Um, but this is just, it reminds me of like a stormy sky. So this is this one and then <laughs> if the 18 count wasn't like amazing I've never me pleased on something this fast this is a 32 count 
<laughs> Look at how incredible this is. This is just, I don't know how to describe how amazing this is in person. It's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So I'm really excited that I finally, finally got those. Um, all right. That is my whole haul. I have my wish unboxing, but my battery is going to die. So I'm going to quickly change it. And then I'm going to get into the winter and stars hollow unboxing. Okay. I am, I am back. That was hopefully my camera is in the same place. Probably not because I mean, with my camera, I have to remove the whole like tripod to be able to replace the battery. So it's probably not in the same place. Anyway, winter in stars hollow has arrived and look at how incredible this box is. Got a little bit damaged, but nothing too, too crazy. So I did have a sneak peek of this box because I got my smalls and my needle minder, uh, not my needle minder. Yeah. My needle minder exchange and my smalls exchange. And I really just wanted to let's do this. Um, and I really wanted to see what I got from who. So this is the winter in stars hollow. It's so bittersweet because it's the last one. Um, so we have spoilers, a lovely note from Katie and Laura, um, information about the digital retreat, which is next weekend. Um, and then this is the full stars hollow banner with winter. Um, and then we've got the spotlight from a few people on the back. So that's cute. Yeah. I just, I just saw something that's in this box and cannot wait. So my needle minder, I literally opened this and I was cackling because it was absolutely hysterical. So this is the beautiful card that I got from the lovely Tara over at Wilder Woman Crafts. And I say this because she got my needle minder last year <laughs> for spring. So I just thought it was hilarious that um, she was the needle minder recipient for last year and I was her needle minder recipient for this year. It just, it's completely random, but I just thought it was absolutely hilarious. So there is a little, <laughs> I want to say there's a little Bigfoot sticker. Love that. Um, but this is the needle minder that I received, which is hilarious because I did message Tara and I'm like, what in the world? Like, what are the odds that this happened? She's like, your one actually inspired me to get this for this year. So I love this. I cannot wait to put this on one of my projects. Thank you so much, Tara. Um, and then my smalls, smalls exchange, what is like next level. So this is from um, Cynthia. I just, I want to like, like her writing is so nice too, but from the desk of the coffee shop. This coffee shop is totally my office. I love this. Wherever this is from is hilarious. Um, anyway, Cynthia um, did this small and oh, oh my gosh, this small is like next level incredible. It is just, mm, it's amazing. Um, yeah, she wrote a lovely note. Thank you so much. And then the small is just like, holy cow. I'm like, so I'm, I, I just, mm. so this is what I received. So it says, I smell snow and it's on like a snowy metallic, even weave linen potentially, but it is, it is a thread bed. With like a little thing for your needles. Like, how amazing is this? It is. Oh my God. I absolutely love it. It is. It is absolutely incredible. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. I just realized the writing is one over one. I smell snow, which 
I absolutely love this because my small that I made, which I don't even know if I have a photo of it, is something I designed myself. It says I smell snow and it has snowflakes on it. So I absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. Um, it is it is amazing. So thank you so much, Cynthia. Uh, so that was my small and my needle minder exchange gift. Um, I'm going to jump into this box because this box is an adventure. Okay, I'm going to grab the first thing, which I'm 99% sure is a needle minder. Um, it's padded. We don't receive padding normally. Oh, it is. It's chunky magnet. Holy cannoli. Um, so this is the no cell phones needle minder. It is designed by the black needle society. Like look at this magnet on the back. I can't even get that off. That is, Ow, my thumb got stuck. That hurt. So this is the no cell phones needle minder designed by the black needle society. We couldn't finish off these boxes without sending you Luke's famous no cell phone sign. Use it when you need to remind yourself to focus on your stitches and not on your socials. That is super cute. That magnet is not a joke though. That really hurt my thumb. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm not going to open these, but these are the recipe cards. Um, so they're the Eat Like a Gourmet recipe cards designed by Heather Gretton Art. The final set of seasonally inspired recipe cards. This winter set includes 11 recipes from the show to help while planning your retreat snacks. So this is Rocky Road Cookies for Dean on the front. There are 11 cards in there. I'm not, I'm not opening them. Um, I would have to get my binder out of my cupboard in order to do that. Um, okay. <laughs> this can join my other one on the top of my bookshelf. This is Owl's Pancake World. Um, so this is the exclusive floss for this box, which is from Colour and Cotton. So it's in the cute little box. I have no room to put anything anywhere. Um, so these are our Gilmore inspired flosses. So we have seven Christmas trees, which is beautiful. Uh, Rory's winter formal dress. Autumn leaves, which is stunning. One is a pom. <laughs> uh, for tonight only my name is Bill. Uh, and it's a pretty blue and white variegated. And Rich Blumenfeld's hair. <laughs> Hilarious. So it's really sad that these are the last Gilmore flosses. Mm, that's sad. Seed. Um, all right, next up is Western's Candy Cane Latte Soy Candle made by the Black Needle Society. Lorelai waited too long to order her favorite candy cane latte at Western's Bakery because she wanted to celebrate Christmas with Rory. Maybe this candle scent can hold her over until next year's batch is ready. Her, I, I feel like it's going to be really minty and mint sometimes gives me a headache, but it smells more like coffee. Coffee also gives me a headache. <laughs> That's fine. Ross will love this though. But again, I don't burn my black needle candles. They sit on my bookshelf. So this one will join all of the other unburnt black needle candles that are sitting on my bookshelf. Um, okay. Oh my God, this is... <laughs> this is so cool. We have a little kit. So this is Coco at Luke's. This is the Luke Coco ornament kit made by Lady Dot Creates, color and cotton and designed by the Black Needle Society. Hand make an ornament like the Gilmore's with this, Luke in, with this Luke's diner mug inspired design. Uh, we've included a cut of color and cotton linen and a full ornament finishing kit with threads. Threads used are called for in the wish pattern. That is so cool. So it comes with beads. Where are the beads? In the trick, oh god, I'm not that fancy. So it comes with everything to finish it and the beads. Um, I'm gonna pop that open. The fabric I have is green, which I love. 
So that is amazing. That is so cool for like the final, the final retreat. It's a cute little ornament kit. Um, next up is the I Smell Snow Beanie. Uh, this is di designed by Katerina Book Designs. Do you smell snow? Grab this beanie to go take a walk in the first snow of the season. Now, we don't get snow. And I'm not really a beanie person. <laughs> For good reason. <laughs> anyway, that's really cute. I will wear that inside my house when no one is looking. Because I'm not a, I'm not a hat person. Tiaras? Yes, I'm a tiara person. I've got a good head for a tiara. Not so much hats and beanies. So, you know, tis what it is. <laughs> um, okay, next up is stuck in a plastic bag. This is from Wild Rainbow Coat. And this is the Monkey Monkey Underpants Threadwinder. Um, to help you unravel Lorelei's thought process, we've commissioned Deb to create this nine inch thread winder. The pink is inspired by the color of Lorelei's coat in the Wish episode from A Year in the Life. That was an acronym and it took my brain a second. So this is super cute. Okay, next up, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a mug, which is also gonna go on my shelf, but there's like no room on my shelf. I need another bookshelf. Okay, um, she's fairly stuck. Let's not break anything. That is, that was stuck solid. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> it's beautiful. <laughs> so this is the mug. Um, so where am I? Our little corner of the world mug. Artwork is by the Black Needle Society. So Katie would have done this. Katie spent over a hundred hours creating this mug art. From left, Jackson's not too happy that Suki is checking out strawberries at Dosi's market. Taylor is not happy to find Kirk dressed as the woman of questionable morals. Luke uh, is grabbing a to-go bag and talking with Lorelai and Rory, while Zach eats some wink winkers and Lane gets ready to refill some coffee. Um, Babette and Maury take cinnamon for a passeggiata. Uh, Miss Patty teaches a dance class and the town troubadour serenades us. <laughs> oh, I want to cry. This is making me like super emotional. Um, again, solid mug. Solid mug. Um, all right. I'm not, I'm not going to take this out of the bag because <gasps> how amazing is this? So this is the, it's a lifestyle project bag designed by Karen Leopold. Donna Reed has nothing on the Gilmore Girls. Store your next stitch in here to keep it safe from stray snowflakes and coffee drips. This is one side and it's using the plastic. And then it's a lifestyle, it's a religion. Amazing, so, so good. So I'm gonna put my Winter in Stars Hollow in there because I don't think it's gonna be finished by the end of the retreat. Okie dokie. Now this is my, this was my new star in this episode and that is the Winter in Stars Hollow pattern designed by the Black Needle Society. Uh, this is the final of four seasonal inspired Stars Hollow pat patterns featuring Bjork, Snow, Snow Woman, a winter carnival snack cart and ticket, a candy cane for a candy cane latte, doggy spami, which is Paul Anka, um, a repaired church bells, a strawberry pop tart, Lane's cheerleading uniform, Lorelai's house with her skating on the rink Luke made, and where you lead, which completes if you need me to be with you I will follow where you lead <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting emotional but that is amazing oh my god I just read the note on the back <laughs> I'm not gonna cry thank you to my model stitcher my own Lorelai Laura Landis aside from her speed stitching skills she's always encouraging me to challenge myself as a designer and embrace crazy ideas like designing a full coverage piece thank you so much my mama mia so winter in stars hollow pattern. And the next thing just, it wouldn't be winter. Oh, there is one more thing in there. Let's, let's do that last. Um, okay. I'm not going to take this out of the plastic as well. This is a 
measuring tape. I was wondering where this was because it didn't look like it was in here. Um, so this is designed by the Black Needle Society. It is um, in there. Lorelei's sewing skills are fantastic, but she may want to brush up on self-defense when it comes to making comes to making with Rory's winter formal dress, take measurements like a pro or like Lorelei with this measuring tape. So that's super cute. Anyway, as I was saying, it wouldn't be winter without a blanket, which means the return of Capros in his Capros goes to Stars Hollow. <laughs> I crack myself up. Um, okay, I'm just gonna quickly remove the box. Because, oh, look at the colors on this thing. This is going to be so, oh, so flipping cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having a, having a sitch over here because this is, this is a big, as upside down, it's a big blanket. It fascinates me how they get them into such a small thing. Okay, I'm going to stand up. So this is the winter in stars hollow oh my god too much <laughs> the winter in stars hollow blanket i am stuck oh look it's got a little absolutely okay cape ross obviously will make an appearance i left a i left my wish blanket there um has he taken it? Has he taken my wish blanket? <laughs> Seriously? What? I literally went to go find the blanket to sit on the couch. It's my cake. It's my blanket. It's mine. And, and it's comfortable. I will wear it. And now if you can close the door and you're listening. And looking at the cake on screen. <laughs> um, so it is Winter in Stars Hollow Blanket designed by Heather Gretnart. Burr, it's chilly in Stars Hollow. Every time I say burr, it's like, um, my brain goes to, what's it called? Bring it on. <laughs> uh, it's chilly in Stars Hollow. Snuggle up with this blanket, your favorite show and stitching. So, Cape Ross will show you what this all looks like properly. Um, but that is the end of this mammoth video. Poor Ross is going to have to edit this. I am going to go and have something to eat. Um, if you're doing Winter in Stars Hollow, let me know in the comments down below. I cannot wait to see you there. It's going to be such an amazing time. Um, I get to stitch with my friends. I know Erin's doing it, Amanda's doing it, Mel's doing it, Chloe's doing it for the first time, which is super exciting. Um, Cece is doing it. <coughs> so many other people as well. So if you're doing Winter in Stars Hollow, let me know. If you're not, let me know what you're stitching on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put this all away at some time and that's not gonna be a today Liz problem. <laughs> I'm gonna go have something to eat. <laughs> so. Do all the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in two weeks. Bye!